Shalom, and welcome to the Edmond and Lily Safra Center at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem. Join me for a virtual tour of the center. The building is designed such that each floor has a social hub that its essence is to be a meeting place for all the scientists of the center. It is here in the social hub where scientists and students from the different laboratories meet, interact, and think about different ideas that later on will become great scientific projects. Let's meet some of the laboratories on the floor. Welcome to my lab. Come in. My lab studies cognitive neuroscience, which asks the relationship between brain mechanisms and behavior, thinking, and perception. And specifically, we study skill acquisition, namely in the cases of dyslexia, where people fail to acquire proficient reading, and in cases of autism, where people fail to acquire proficient uh, social relations. So we use tools that characterize the field. Here we are just in the midst of an experiment, of an EEG study, aimed to understand sources of autism. This is just the first stage, so a mouse is putting the electrodes. After he finishes, we'll start recording from uh, electrical activity on her skull and study the dynamics of her learning. Here is the part of the lab where we look at our analysis. For example, uh, these are data from an imaging experiment studying differences between individuals with dyslexia and individuals without dyslexia when they listen to sounds. Let's see what's going on with the EEG experiment. We see both the ongoing recording, just to verify that everything is okay, and we can also track the accumulative responses throughout the experiment. So this was a very quick virtual tour of my lab, but the real essence of what we do is in how we ask questions and how we analyze our data, and I'd be very happy to talk more about it in an actual conversation. Now we will visit the laboratory of Dr. Nomi Khaviv, one of our youngest and brightest researchers that studies Alzheimer's. Shalom, Nomi. Hi, how are you? Great. <laughs> I'm going to leave you in the capable hands of Nomi to explain about her laboratory. In our lab, we're trying to understand uh, processes like Alzheimer's disease and other aging-related pathologies. Unlike other labs in the world, we have a unique approach where we are not trying to study only a single cell type in the brain, but rather to understand really complex cellular environment in the brain. So let me show you uh, how it actually works. This is the first part where we are getting the brain samples. We have a trick in order to capture hundreds of thousands of cells at once. So we're not using regular lab tubes. As you can see here, we have special uh, microfluidic devices, which are actually tiny microscopic tubes where we flow water and oil. So water and oil together generate small droplets. We then flow cells from the brain into these microfluidic chambers, each tiny droplet would capture a single cell. And we do that for hundreds of thousands of cells because the flow is so fast. From here, we have to use machine learning tools and uh, to actually uh, perform the analysis. So let me show you. The students are performing data analysis. And what we're actually doing is we're building maps of the brain. We're building atlases of cells in the brain and we're then comparing the healthy brain and the diseased brain. For example, recently we found that a very special cell that are called astrocyte cells that, that are part of the brain and support neurons are actually changing dramatically during Alzheimer's disease and it happens early before any signs of cognitive decline. I'll take you to the last uh, part of the lab. We're growing brain cells, and actually we're also now trying to grow little pieces of human brain in a dish. And the idea is that in order to validate our hypothesis, we need live cells and live tissues to test them and manipulate them. This completes the tour of the lab. It was uh, really nice to host you, and I hope to see you next time in Jerusalem for a non-virtual tour. This concludes our virtual tour. Thank you very much for joining us.